All right, hopefully no more interruptions from here on. Man, what a painful day. Really, really always feel bad when I see these kind of things happen because I know as a spectator myself, like I love to watch some amazing smash action and unfortunately, you know, a lot of stutters and just not a seamless uh, experience. But let's get it going. Okay. Welcome. Okay. Yo, okay. We're all, we're all good now. We have a match. Okay. Let's do this. Oh God, Mario Ditto. I honestly, I'm down with the Mario Ditto. That, that's just the, that's the spark. This uh, today needs to just start being go uh, epic and cool. Yeah. Also, these are actually two really notable Mario's. Like there's Froki, there's Elman. Didn't I think Elman just recently got sponsored too? So that is Pockers. But mm -hmm. uh, here we are, game one. Uh, town and city. Interesting choice. Uh, yeah. Although it does make sense, Mario has pretty good combos that go pretty far up. And those platforms can definitely help those combos get extended. Oh yeah. Although I am a little bit surprised we didn't see a gentleman's to battlefield. That just seems like <laughs> one of Mario's good stages. Yeah, but like, what, why would you willingly take your opponent to their character's best stage? Because it's also your best stage. Quiet. <laughs> you ruined my logic, man. Come on. Uh, that's what I do, man. All right. Well, it looks like Froke has already taken the first stock, so a pretty sizable lead too. Anyways, both players just kind of spacing out each other's moves. Uh, Froki, yep. however, finding uh, notably... A lot more hits. Absolutely. 62 on Froki, 52 on Elman. Uh, and he, Elman is on his second stock. Froki's yep. still on did his just, first. Did you just realize this? What's up? You just realized that... No, no, no. I knew, I've, been, okay. I've been pacing with the match, dude. Okay, I was going to say... You really have that low uh, that low expectations of me, Mr. Cyphonic? I have that low expectations of everybody. I'm gonna be real with you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing against you, it's just everything against everybody else. I hate everybody equally, he says. Yep, and the Elf gonna see all the stock, so two stocks to two stocks to two, but I mean it's in a pretty big deficit right now, but as we all know, Mario. That's right. Mario is very much known to for making uh, big deficits incredibly small, or even uh, just swinging the match entirely. Yep. But the Elfman that is going to seal out the second stock. So Elman's got to pick up the pace a little bit here, or else he's just going to be ooh unfortunate miss on the punish. Yeah, whiff grabs are just the worst. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Oh, we got Mario combos, but no luck there. Ooh. Oh man, had a falling up air there, but he didn't uh, realize it fast enough to actually get a good punish off of it. Now Froki's just kind of, uh, yeah, Froki's just kind of that. <laughs> that was raw. Yeah, really good stuff to Froki. He played mad well against Elman that game. Mhm. Mm so game one is going to be going to Froki. So let's see how game two will play out. That was such a crazy F smash read. I can't believe Froki hit that. Yeah, he died at like 70, I think. Yeah, that's what uh, Sweet Spot F Smash will do to you. Uh, oh, something, oh, oh, I did, aware. something I did notice, though. Uh, Elman has been using a lot more Fireball than Froki, and Froki's been mm -hmm. uh, using a lot more combos than Elman. So yeah. uh, I think Elman might want to focus a bit harder on uh, catching, uh, catching Froki's disadvantage and just pressuring harder. Because I feel like yeah. that's where he just didn't do quite enough last game. Yeah, these two definitely, they might be the same character, but they definitely got their own play styles. And that is what you like to see. Anyway, uh, game two, we're going to small battlefield. Another interesting choice. Okay, this is actually a really good stage for Mario. I must say. And I know for a fact that Elman does like this stage, so... <laughs> Almost getting laddered though. Oh, he did get laddered. Oh! Froki's kind of running away with this set. Mm -hmm. 
Hang on. Oh. 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 He almost got the forward air off stage. It was super close, but now Farky's at 91. Elman has completely swung the direction this game was going. Yep. Just that little bit of momentum to turn the tides. And going for an F smash rate of his own. Back air, Froki's now off stage. Getting hit by the fireball, not gonna get again, but two frame with a dash attack, forcing him to recover high. Ooh, L Man on top of the platform, but he is going to start <laughs> uh, pressuring Froki. <laughs> Ooh, good. Oh. That, that was, was a really good parry, but <laughs> these up smashes, man. Elman's got to see off the stock soon, or else it's going to be Mario with Rage. You really, really don't want Mario with Rage. I think <laughs> really everyone everyone remembers the horror stories of Smash 4 and Rage. Yeah, that upbeat, man. And the back air, finally going to see off the stock. This is a lot closer than last game. So let's see if Elman can actually turn this around. Ooh. Good combos from Froki, getting Elman up to about 70%. Get the oh off stage and the God, these F stop, smashes. Stop yeah, forward smashing. That didn't kill. <laughs> That's what Elman's thinking right now. Hang on, we got ladders. Evening, just about evening it back up too. That man just kind of standing there, going, "I dare you to approach me. I dare you." <laughs> <laughs> and the fireball, the nair, go. He mit, went for an F smash, but the fireball interrupted it, unfortunately. Down throw. Gonna be, gonna be looking for a backer, but no luck. And Froki going for a spot dot feed. Ooh, up there from Froki oh, down, down here. That's gonna kill. Oh my god. He's gotta stop punish, punish, trying to punish up smash with up smash. It's not going to work. Unfortunately, you can't punish uh, you can't punish that fast of a move with uh, the oh, same yes. move. Some moves will make them differ. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Back throw. Not gonna kill. And no luck on the flood either. Froki needs to recover high to get that little bit of damage. Ooh, Froki again having a lot of rage. Elman really does have to take this stock oh. because the ladders are Hang starting. On. Barely getting out of that with down air. Back here. Not gonna what? Kill. That was impeccable DI from Froki. Mm hmm. The Nair, not killing either. Elman's really struggling to get these stocks out. Ooh, going for a Randy up smash or two. Barely missing that forward smash from Froki on the ground. And the back air finally sealing out the stock. But Elman is at a pretty decent deficit here. 73%. Remember the character Ooh. we're talking about. I remember the character we're also talking about. Ooh. Oh. oh, going for yeah. some kind of tech read there. That was a very interesting forward air that he went for. Uh, didn't mm -hmm. quite pan out, unfortunately. But now Elman oh. has to be really careful for things like that. Yeah, and with that, Froki will take the will take the set 2-0 over Elman. I think both of them played relatively good. Um, mm -hmm. I think Elman just missed a few opportunities for like solid punishes and uh, it kind of just added up. Yeah, there are definitely some moments where he he had his chances, but sadly they didn't really come out to too much. Well, Froki was able to take a lot of advantage of the situation. We didn't get to see a single forward air in the Mario Ditto, interestingly enough. Well, we did actually, just didn't okay. kill. Yeah, no, no offstage forward airs, my bad. Right, and with that, we're look going into another little intermission to wait for these next match, so bear with us here as we will find another one very soon. Yep, stay tuned. <laughs> 